Recently, Dr. Joe Dispenza released a new Changing Boxes meditation. He was saying at one of his last events that um, he was talking with his staff and he has a Changing Boxes meditation on his website, but he didn't realize it was a really long one. It was 50 minutes long. So now he's made a shorter version, which is only 20 minutes long. And kind of funny is that sometimes when I was kind of in a hurry to do changing boxes, I would kind of fast forward the 50 minute long one to be about maybe like 30 minutes long and then do what I need to do. So what is changing boxes? Changing boxes is an excellent meditation to try to change a situation in your life that you don't like and you want some kind of new outcome or new version of that situation. Um, an example is you have a situation going on in your personal life or at work, or it could be, you know, a health issue or a lawsuit. I don't know what it could be. It could be very simple. Um, but basically what you do, you just kind of jump in the meditation. You imagine a new reality or another dimension where this problem does not exist. And you basically go into that dimension and bring it to you. You are now in that new dimension. That is the idea to go where that problem does not exist. So um, both of these meditations are very good. If you like doing long meditations, you need that like induction time. You just want to go in and just kind of like, wow, I just need this time to just kind of relax and unwind. And then you need that induction period. Then the, the older version or the 50 minute version is good. They're still both good and they actually have a little bit different way to change your box in them of doing them. I like both. Um, the 20 minute version is a little bit different. It's not exactly focusing on a box. He does mention the word box once or maybe twice in the meditation. The old one focuses more on a box and the new one, the shorter one focuses more on just kind of finding that new reality. Um, the induction period on the, the longer one is about 25 minutes long. The newer one is about 11 minutes. And once you do that induction period, if you don't know what the induction period is, that's just where you kind of get into the blackness and you, um, you like focus on your head or your eyes or the space or go out into the universe, different things like that. It's just kind of what gets you, your mind off of the outside world and into, um, I guess you could say the inside world, which some people say is the outside world, the fifth dimension, whatever you want to call it. Um, anyway, um, so once you get done with that, induction period, um, you tune into the possibility. So what does that mean? Okay, so let's say for example, there is this guy at work you just cannot stand and he just gets on your nerves. You just like always hate come like going to the bathroom because you have to walk by his cubicle or whatever it was, is, you know, you just like, oh, that guy annoys me and he thinks he's better than me or whatever. And he's always getting credit for things I do, you know, whatever it happens to be. And you can tell just like thinking about that, it's like, oh, I don't like that. So in the older version, he has you basically um, take a door. He says there's a door outside of the box. So think of yourself in this box, like your current situation is in this box. And so this box, you don't want to be in this box anymore. You want to change to a different box. So that door basically gets you out of that box and you want to find a new one where that problem doesn't exist. Now, this is how I did it. You can do it any way you want. My, I talked to my husband and he did it completely different than I did. Whatever comes to your mind, you do. Um, for me, I imagined going out of that box and I was just kind of drifting around in space and I saw that box kind of floating off. Now, what I did is I would like close up the box and tape it. If it was a big issue that I'm just like, Ugh, I don't want that problem in my life anymore. I would basically like put chains and all kinds of stuff out and like send it off into the universe. A few times I've even imagined that box being blown up because I was like, get rid of it. I don't want it. And so then he wants you to tune into a new um, reality where that problem doesn't exist. So I basically saw another box out there and got into that box and then he wants you to feel it. And so I imagined myself, oh my goodness, that problem doesn't exist anymore. Remember the feeling in your heart is what draws that experience to you. So imagine being in that box where that doesn't exist and feel it. So that's kind of how the older one goes, the longer version, the newer, shorter version doesn't, he doesn't have you go in a door outside of the box. 
He wants you to tune into all possibilities. I think the first one has you tune in all possibilities, but this one he wants you to tune in all possibilities out there in the universe. And um, if you look at the cover of the original Changing Boxes, it's it's like that when there's like two mirrors reflecting each other, and you see feel like you see infinite U's. That think that's kind of what that that album cover is like, and there's infinite versions of you there's infinite dimensions infinite realities out there and one of those realities somewhere this problem doesn't exist every reality looks exactly the same like when you look in that infinite mirror you can look down there and you're like there's thousands and thousands and thousands and infinite numbers of me and i look exactly the same but you know what in that reality right over there that problem doesn't exist and that's the one you need to look for you need to jump into that reality that's way out there or it could be close. If you feel like that, you only have to jump five dimensions ahead. You know, I've seen that. Sometimes I'm like, whoa, it's way over there. Or it's just pretty close. It just is a simple problem. My husband actually told me how he did it. This is on the old version. He probably does it the same way on the new version. But he was saying it was like a, a storefront. It was kind of like swiping through like a, like on an iPad, you kind of swipe, swipe, swipe. You're like, okay, which one, which version do I want? So that's kind of how he told me how he does it. So once you find that reality that you want to tune into, that's the reality you want to be into, he then asks you to find it, feel it, feel your connection to it, and then, um, then also he wants you to draw it in with your heart because remember the, bringing it in with the heart and feeling it with your heart, that's the magnet, that's the key to bringing it to you. Sometimes he, and I can't remember which version he does, he says has your, bring your body to you. He might do it in both of those. Um, but after he has you bring it back. He kind of talks you through it. It gives you a little time to just kind of keep imagining and feeling it because that is going to draw you. The emotion is what's going to draw that experience to you. And once he kind of does that, then he kind of starts wrapping up and bring your awareness back to your body and to your mind. And then that's it. So changing boxes is a really good meditation to do. It can be a very simple thing in your life that you want to change. Or it could be something different. Even if you're trying to manifest something, let's just say that you're trying to manifest a new job or a new house, you could use this meditation. It doesn't have to be a bad situation in your life that you want to change, which you could say, well, I want to have a brand new house or I want a brand new job. You can imagine I'm no longer in this life where I work this job. I'm in this life where I have this job. So you can still use this for a manifestation or to get rid of a problem. You can play around with it. It's a really good meditation, a simple meditation. Like I said, both versions are good. If you like the quick meditation, do the new 20 minute shorter version. If you like the old one, do the 50 minute version. Do both of them because both of them are really good too. Because like I said, I like both versions of doing the box or changing the reality. Because the new one, I don't imagine the box anymore because he doesn't really have me, he doesn't talk about the box, so I don't really think about it. So I now imagine like the mirrors going way down and picking my favorite. So good luck, and I shouldn't say good luck. Have fun changing your box because I have changed my boxes. They've been little things. I haven't done anything super big, but I have changed my boxes before. And it's really cool because it really works.